Hello and welcome to this PHP tutorial. Um, in this lesson what we're going to be doing is going to make in um, dynamic content using PHP and HTML together. So um, what does dynamic content mean if you don't know uh, what it is? Well if basically we've got this one um, box here, this area of text and this title, and then basically we, we, the only thing that we want to change every time is this middle bit. So when we click on, um, in, on contacts it's just the middle bit that changes. Okay, the rest is already loaded, um, so that's basically it. So let's move over to um, PS Pad, and what we need is basically here you've got inside my um, root folder, I've got dynamic contents folder, and inside that has a CSS folder with layout.css in it, and then images with three images. Obviously, you can use your own images, and then uh, includes folder, which has got nothing in it at the moment. And then we're just going to use an index.php, which on it it's just got some simple uh, HTML at the moment, and I gave it a title of dynamic content. So inside this, we just need to make a couple of um, divs. If you're pretty happy um, with writing HTML and CSS, then skip to the second part of this tutorial because that's the only thing I'm doing in this one is basically making up um, the template of the page to start cutting up. So um, okay, then let's just get on with it. So first of all, we're going to make a wrapper which is going to be the main um, wrapper of the whole website and next inside that we want to make um, a header with inside the wrapper so it's just div class header uh, and we're just going to be uh, using CSS CSS to give that a background next what we want to do is make the navbar because the navbar comes underneath it and that's going to be like a thousand pixels wide, 25 high. And now next inside this, we want to make some buttons. So we're going to give it a div class of um, button. And what we're going to be doing is going to be formatting the uh, anchor tag with inside of it to give it a height and give it a width and so on. So what we're just going to do is put in here is index.php and then a question mark and page equals. Okay, if you don't know what I'm doing there, don't worry, that's what this lesson is all about. So we're just going to put in here home and we're just going to copy this if I can get it copied just going to copy this four more times three, four, five and then here I'm going to put design gallery uh, contacts and whoops abouts and then here all I'm going to do is page equals abouts and then contacts and gallery and design and this one I'm going to leave as index.php so control is to save and next let's uh, what have we got? that's the navbar okay next what we want to do is make the uh, main body so let's just copy this to save time place that in there so we've got a, a div class for main body and we'll just copy it again and we'll make a div class of footer so we'll just put David Thorne Thorne web design that's going to be my footer nice and simple okay so that's it pretty much done um, I've linked already the CSS file so we've got link href going to the CSS folder and layout.css so that's, bit, that's already done right control s to save okay and we come over to Firefox and what we have here now is obviously nothing much so let's just get back to doing the CSS okay now first thing what we want to do is um, basically just use a wildcard go away make a wildcard um, just to kill any padding and any margin because um, I don't like it so that's everything killed now and then what we want to do is quickly make an anchor tag because I don't want to have any um, text decoration as in uh, anything being oh slow down um, any underlining or anything like that okay first thing we want to do is make a wrapper and we'll zoom in a little bit and we'll just say uh, width equals a thousand pixels height equals 550 and border just so we can see it equals one pixel solid and e1 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 and margin 
equals 10 pixels top, left is going to be auto, bottom is 0, and then that's that bit done. Okay, next thing we need to do is make the header. So we'll say width equals 1000, height equals 125 pixels, background image equals Earl of don't need that of images and it's called the flash logo dot jpeg and backgrounds repeat equals no repeat because it's just a normal jpeg okay that's that bit done and next what we want to do is make the nav bar so let's just do that quickly navbar is going to basically just be the same as this so we'll just copy this and plunk it in there and it's 25 and the background is going to be navbar underscore grad and I want it to repeat the X and get rid of that next I want to make the button and that's going to be talking to the anchor so what we're going to do is we're going to copy this so we can use this and we're going to make it 100 and the background of it it doesn't need to have a background because it already has one and we're just going to say line height equals 22 pixels fonts family equals vandana and then uh, fonts size equals 13 pixels color equals black and font weight equals bold and an important thing that we need to do is basically say float left so they are a bit better okay line height for family and then we're going to align the uh, text to be uh, center okay now what we just need to do is copy this and then when someone hovers over it we're just going to say hover and we're going to copy this so we can save a bit of time push that in there and we're going to say navbar roll okay so, and we're going to change the color of the font to white so it's three f's and next we want to do is make uh, the main body let's push that up, up a little bit so main body I can pretty much copy most of this as well so we've got a float left we don't need width of 1000 height of 375 my maths is correct line height we don't need font size will come down to 11 font weight um, and we'll change this to 515151 font weight we don't need bold and text align uh, is left because by default it's left Okay, and we're just going to do um, a background first of all of E1, E1, E1 because then we can see it. Okay, next thing we need to do is make the footer. So once again, let's copy this navbar one because it's the same. We could just call it navbar, but I'm not going to. Um, and that's that pretty much done. Control is to save, come back to here, refresh. And there we go. And the picture's missing for some reason. Let's just have a look while this is missing. Flash, okay, it's because it's missing an O, or an O, shall I say. Come back here, refresh. Okay, and there we go. So now that we have um, this simple website set up after a few things, and we click this, and nothing changes, which is cool. All right, so now what we need to do is make the, um, the content in the middle. All right, uh, um, I'm going to stop this video now and I'll see you in part two and in part two what we're going to do is basically um, start formatting it and going through a little bit clearer and um, what it is but this is the basics done now um, of it we'll align this text as well make it look a little bit prettier okay well if you're going to finish there um, I hope you don't but my name is David Thorne visit me, visit me at www.thornwebdesign.de uh, if you didn't understand anything in this tutorial then just subscribe to me or send me a question and so on 
and I'll try and redo it. Otherwise, I'll see you in part two and we'll finish this off.